Welcome back, Diecast Outcast here. Today we are doing the fantastic build off brought to you by the Three Blind Mice. This is one of those builds I've been waiting on for a long time. I've been wanting to do a custom van, but had to have the right time to do it. I've been really nervous because I wanted to make sure it is the best that I could do. So sit back, relax, and let's see what happens. Out of this lot of vans that I had, I picked the worst one. And you can see here that there is something living in it at one time, probably a spider of some sorts. It was probably my old spider buddy, Herschel. He lives here with me and he tries to lure uh, moths into the van so he can eat them. They can't resist because his ass looks happy. Anyways, back to the bits and pieces. We got the interior, then there's the base, it's nasty. The body, it's pretty beat all the hell. So let's see what we can do. First, we'll stick it on a turntable so you can get a good look of what we are starting with. I am looking at probably a late 70s, early 80s, Blackwall era super van. This is a very popular casting from Hot Wheels. Started out in the early 70s and they still make them today in different forms and fashion. The plan for this one is to turn it into a 70s van. So we're gonna paint it a custom color, do some stripes down the side of it, change some things up, put some wheels on it. The base, it's dull as expected. It's been sitting around for years. Let's throw this in the citrus strip and see how well the paint comes off. It only took about 20 minutes, but it peeled right off. So I went and cleaned it with some warm soap and water and then hit it with a brass bristle brush. So with all these old 70s custom vans, they have the portholes in the back, and I think this time I'm going to try to cut out a heart-shaped porthole. So what I did is I marked it with Sharpie and decided to do the back windows as well. And then I took the drill, drilled out a couple holes, and then used the file and filed out the best that I could. I actually used a small drill for the pilot holes and then cut it out with a jeweler saw. Filed it out, cleaned it up. I think it turned out really good. Then I decided to go back over it with the Dremel and the Scotch-Brite wheels, get it all nice and smooth so the paint will lay down nice. Every sweet ass van needs a hood scoop, so I'm going to build a hood scoop out of this fingernail. Fake fingernail. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Super glue that thing on and clean it up a little bit around the edges. Then we will hit it with some Rust Oleum Flat Black. After set letting it cure for a while, I use the vinyl cutter and cut out these small little stripe masking kits stuck it on there and then we're going to take it and hit it with some Createx wicked gold and we'll use that as the base for our stripes then i took some tequila sunrise yellow and did the top and then the candy fade with blood red from the bottom unmasked it and hit it with five coats of 2k urethane clear I cut the original side pipes off this. Uh, they didn't look as good as I thought they would, but I took these off of the M257 Ford and they look pretty sweet. So we're gonna glue those on the side. I uh, got some Krager wheels for it because that's what they did in the 70s. After getting everything squared away, polishing the base, gluing the side pipes on, I got the body all nice and clean. I cut out a new windshield from a blister pack. I also took some of that blister pack and made the windows for the back and the heart shape. Did a few details here and there. I also harvested a motorcycle out of the back of a new Jeep casting that Hot Wheels put out. Got it all painted up, stuck it on the back like it's towing it. 
since I made the windshield and it was uh, attached to the interior originally, I had to make a new dash. So when I made the new dash, I put a new sweet steering wheel on it and took a pin and made a shifter out of it. Polished up the base, did the details, put the craggers on it from a Johnny Lightning. So this ended up being one of my favorite builds to date. The paint turned out absolutely perfect in my opinion. And I just love how everything turned out. So let's look and see what it looked like when I started. And if you like what you see, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell for future notifications. And this is what we ended up with. We got a custom paint job, custom interior, wheels. We got the motorcycle in the back. We got all the new glass put in. I am very excited how this turned out. It's one of my absolute favorites that I've done so far. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Make sure you search and see everybody else's build. I cannot wait to see what everybody else came up with. Here's a little shot with the outside sunlight. Man, that thing sparkles. And stay tuned after the video. You can see a little bit that I recorded at the cruise night that we had here in the town that I live in right before the storm hit. Thank <laughs> you.